wait, no, 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 no. Oh my God, no, oh my God, no, I was so late. Are you serious? I'm, d I can't right now. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode of The Royal Family, we had Princess May and Prince Johan age up into young adults. So they had a little joint birthday party that Princess Amira threw as sort of like a peace offering for them. And I think things went pretty well for them, so they are now young adults. And then we also had Princess Amira go to Makai's house for a little family dinner to meet his family. And that did not go as well. His mother did not seem to like Amira very much at all so things got a little heated and lots of arguing and Princess Amira just ended up having to leave so I think we're gonna see what happens with that in this episode in this episode we are also going to have a birthday party for the triplets of Willow Creek for Prince Jack Prince Louis and Princess Belle and then we are also going to see what happens to Princess Amira and then I want to do a few other things as well so if you're excited for this video give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already and let's go ahead ahead and play the royal family. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, someone actually in the last video uh, in the comments, they asked if we could go ahead and check on Duchess Jill of Willow, well now of Willow Creek. So Duchess Jill was actually one of King Adrian's mistresses. So they wanted me to check on her and her daughters and it looks like she actually has another baby. So maybe we'll go ahead and age up that baby into a toddler. Okay, so we have their two daughters. Oh, for a second I thought they were both had the same hairstyle, but they do not, but they're both really, really cute so their other oh the, okay so they had a son did i know that did i show you guys that i don't remember i also okay so i got a uh someone they messaged me because i kept getting these like last exceptions caught by mcc whatever so they sent this thing to me that's supposed to catch it so i have to figure out how to do that so i downloaded it and it's in my folder but i don't actually know what to do with it so i have to look that up so i'll do that later on but okay so first thing we're going to do is age up lord pierre so i'm actually gonna have Duke Harrison do that so age up and then okay so I this is the only viewer I've really had to say that they want to see. oh look at their sisters they're so cute okay so uh they were the only ones who said that they wanted to know whose baby is who so let's go ahead and take a look at who the father is oh okay well lord pierre aged up let's do a random trait so lord pierre is fussy all right i feel like i get that a lot for the younger siblings so we're going to go ahead and see who these babies father is <gasps> okay so it's telling me now okay so guys it looks like lady isadora's father is this uh, is adrian is king adrian i think you guys did know that though right i think so um so you guys do that that his or his baby king adrian's baby is lady isadora it looks like lady harper is actually duke harrison's daughter so that's actually surprising. I thought Lady Harper was going to be King Adrian's daughter, but it does not look like it. So Lady Harper is Duke Harrison's daughter. And then of course, Lord Pierre is Duke Harrison's son. So Lady Isadora, I don't think she knows. I mean, obviously she's a toddler. She doesn't understand any of this, but she does not know that her father is King Adrian and no one else actually knows that either, including like Queen Lindsay or the former Queen Lindsay. So she doesn't know about this child either. Queen Lindsay also does not, okay, well she knows about Lady, or not Lady anymore, just Charlotte. She knows about Charlotte. She does not know about Lord Benjamin and uh, who is this? And Lady Cara, because their mother and his mistress was Duchess Blair, and she's actually married. So I don't think she would have had any reasoning to suspect that is is like her not like their daughter. I don't know. I I think the only one she knew about was Charlotte and Charlotte's mother Harmony. So yeah, guys. So yeah, that's that. So we just aged up Lord Pierre. Oh, he's feeling sad, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you guys totally saw that too, right? His hair totally just turned red. 
and that is not what it's supposed to be. I definitely think that's a glitch. I think it's this hairstyle. I'm gonna have to modify them and cast because one of the other toddlers, they had blonde hair originally, and then so they had that hairstyle too, and then suddenly it changed to red. And like now it's not red anymore. This is weird. Okay, this is really weird. Also, I should probably change his outfits too, but I'm gonna change his hairstyle if it's gonna do that to me, because I don't want it to do that. So let's just do something, um, some something a little bit cute. Okay, let's do this one and I'm pretty sure he had black hair so is, is all the other hairs like that yes it is okay I am not going to worry about styling his outfit now but I'll just choose like a cute little style although honestly all the style looks kind of suck I don't oh yeah oh I got the toddler pack I forgot to say that okay so I was like wow there's so many more styled looks it is because I got the toddler stuff pack game pack. I think it's the stuff pack wow they really have like so many more styled looks for them okay well no it's like it's like three but that's fine so so maybe we'll focus on the toddlers of Windenburg or the other royal families in the future too. So that's an option. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this for now. I'll change his outfits later. So that's Lord Pierre. That is Duchess Jillian's son, or son and daughters. So now you guys are updated a little bit on that. Okay, so now we are going to go to the royal family of Willow Creek. I don't, okay, looks like the kids are back from school. I wasn't sure if they're at school. So we are gonna throw the birthday party for the triplets of Willow Creek. I think, so I think things are now okay with Princess May and with Prince Johan and Princess Amira. I think they have kind of made things up. People did point out in the last episode that it's not fair that because Johan and May were seeing each other kind of behind Amira's back and everyone else's back, but no one knew about it. Amira suspected it, but didn't, like, they haven't told them that. I feel like they feel kind of guilty, or I know that, oh, okay, they are at school. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's okay, because I can just talk through this while they're doing that. So I feel like Princess uh, May, she does feel a little bit guilty that they were doing that and that now Princess Amira is like, okay. And like, like now she's going to maybe get to marry Johan. So I feel like they're going to confess to that. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if this birthday party is the best place to do that. But I feel like she's talked to Johan and kind of told him like, I want to confess because I feel like we didn't, like we kind of did a bad thing. And I feel like we should tell people. I feel like Prince Johan kind of knows what's going to happen. I feel like he's a little bit against it, but he is is also, God, he, I mean, he loves Princess May so much, so I feel like he's going to be like, okay, like, if that's what you really want, then that's fine. So I think we're going to do that at some point in this episode. I'll figure out when. But I also do think, so someone suggested, okay, since Makai and, I, I just want to, like, find their pictures so I can actually, I don't think I'll be able to find their pictures. But someone said in the comments uh, last time that for Makai, maybe, like, his mother is, like, the mother from Crazy Rich Asians. Like, just all about, like, the person you marry has to, like, be very knowledgeable about our culture and all that stuff. And I love Love that idea. I think that's great. I do still think Makai might break up with Amira because of just like, this is the first girlfriend he's really ever had. So, well, no, that's not true. I mean, pro he's probably had other girlfriends, but I mean, he's a young adult now. So, uh, so I feel like he is still like, he's still young, probably still keeping his options open. I feel like he's still like young enough to like listen to his mother sort of thing. So I feel like his mother might be like that for other maybe girlfriends in the future. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I do think he might be breaking up with Amira because things didn't really go that well and a lot of you guys agreed that Princess Amira does not really fit in Sulani so yeah so I, I think all that might be happening in this episode okay so now I'm going to have I'm gonna have Queen Cora make the or plan the birthday party because she kind of knows the most people and she knows all the family and we do want to invite a lot of family so we're gonna have her plan the birthday party oh also guys so i'm like doing the guest list now but i forgot that lady ezra she aged up into a teenager so she's invited you guys are gonna go just get to see her she's gorgeous she's so so pretty so i'm so excited for you guys to see her too okay so we are having the birthday party here at the willow creek castle i i don't even know 
like how well these kids like their manners and all of that oh they don't really have like any it's because i don't really play with the royal family of willow creek much i would like to play them more and i know that one viewer they asked me to focus on some of the other royal families though so when i first started this series windenburg was like my main family and i, I remember like mentioning that too like this is the main family that we're going to be playing with a lot so just so you guys know but now that we've had like so many other royal families i do want to focus more on them too so i can focus on others i might be adding more i'm still debating and thinking about it and still trying to work out the logistics of it so just so you guys know about that too but i don't think that queen core was able to invite all of the teenagers so i'm going to start a royal kids club gathering although pretty soon it's just oh i can i could invite well okay so now i feel like it should just start to be like amira was the one who wanted it to be like royal whoa 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 what? Oh, okay. Oh my god. I forgot that that Queen Evangeline's pregnant. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, so she's pregnant. Oh, that means she is in her third trimester and could be having her baby very, very soon. I didn't even realize that. So that might happen in this episode too. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Princess Amira was the one who wanted the teen club, the royal teen club to be like royal specifically. So I feel like now, it's since, I mean, they're not going to be all royals now. I feel like now we're going to start to invite some nobles in here. So why don't we... Can we do, who okay well prince kellen is the leader right now and prince kellen actually is i think the way the ages go i think it's supposed to be the triplets and then it's supposed to be prince james of brindleton bay and then i think it's prince kellen in ages and then we start to get to the oasis springs children so yeah well we're gonna be having a lot of birthday parties in the next few episodes so i did get to invite the little toddlers of Windenburg. oh okay and then this is lady ezra so she is beautiful i love her party dress a lot too so she is gorgeous i'm so excited to have her like hanging out with us more and like focusing on them more and then her sisters are going to be aging up into teenagers pretty soon as well so i'm just so excited to see everybody i do need to make sure we have a cake i'm going to have king edmund bake a cake so i don't even know if he has like any yeah he has okay it's a cooking level of one maybe i should have queen cora bake the cake because i think she has a little bit higher okay she does she has a cooking level of five so i'm gonna have her bake the cake because it'll be a little bit more safe Ooh, a coconut cake <gasps> okay yeah let's do a coconut cake okay and then we have who is this this is prince francisco so this is princess Belle's boyfriend you guys so he is actually younger than she is i don't know by how much but it, it's it's a good amount i think so he's a little bit younger oh and then we have princess anna or mark mark marchiness and i keep forgetting to change her name i have to do that i haven't just like played from their point of view in a while and then we have prince kellen's girlfriend princess megan is also here but this is also just their friend so i'm gonna have them say hi to her thank her for coming I'm trying to see who else is here we have prince michael and then we have lady aurora who's here who should be turning into a teenager fairly soon and then it looks like that's lady sadira i recognize her dress too so she's here as well oh my god i keep forgetting that prince james still has a celebrity disguise on he's had that thing on forever so i really need to take that off i'll, I'll probably focus on him a little bit later too oh it looks like lady corinne is here this is prince louis's girlfriend and also possibly the future queen of willow creek so she's here too and oh my god guys she looks so beautiful and elegant i love this so much on her this is i'm pretty sure it might be princess amira's everyday dress but you know what it looks amazing on her so i'm gonna keep it for now maybe i'll just age her up in this episode too so yeah we'll probably just do that okay so is our cake ready i was not keeping an eye on the cake where did it go oh oh my god okay queen evangeline just had a girl at the birthday party apparently and i did not, not even like realize that at all okay let me look at some baby names okay so i do have like such i have so many great names and if i don't use your name remember like just it, it'll be okay we will have plenty of other babies coming up because all of these royal children are now turning into young adults and they will be getting married and having lots of babies soon so i got some great ones and and I'm debating. I really like Scarlet. I really like Skylar. I really like, I love, oh, Diana. <gasps> I think I'm gonna name her Diana. I, I do think in the future, definitely probably the next baby girls are gonna be named, I really like the name Scarlet. I just like, if I, if I do Princess Scarlet, it's gonna have to be short, like short as a baby. And then it's just gonna say like Scarlet or something like that so i don't know i think for now i think i'm going to name her diana because 
I love that so, so much. So Princess Diana, and of course, like a royal family of Windenburg is based off of like the British royal family kind of. So I just think that's perfect. So we're gonna go with Princess Diana. Remember, if I have not used your name, I take all of the baby suggestions and I put them in this little like Google Docs and then I look at them every single time. So I will definitely choose some baby names in the future. So if you have not gotten your baby name chosen yet, do not be discouraged because we will have plenty of other babies. So let's go ahead and name her Princess Diana. Oh my god, they got into the girl, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I'm glad they ask us if we want to name the baby, even if we aren't playing from that family's point of view. So that's really, really nice. So I don't miss out on too much. Okay, so I need to just like stare at Queen Cora baking this cake so no one else takes it. Okay, she finished making the cake. I honestly have no idea what happened to the other cake because I don't see anybody eating the other cake. Okay, so, oh wait, no, no, no. Before I move it, let's just put some birthday candles on it first. So add some birthday candles. So I guess all three of them, all the triplets are going to be sharing this birthday cake. And then I am also going to have Lady Corinne use this birthday cake too. So it'll just be a, a whole thing. So I, uh, okay, well, I want to put it here, but everyone's kind of sitting right here. Okay, you know what? Let's just put it on the counter. That's fine. Okay, so our oldest is Prince Louis. So he's going to blow out the candles first. It looks like he is doing dishes right now, which is very sweet of him. Okay, so Prince Louis is now blowing out the candles. So he is our first young adult and then we're going to have Prince Jack blow out the candles and then we're going to have Princess Belle blow out the candles. Okay, so he's now a young adult. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. I have to pick two traits for him? <gasps> okay, that's interesting. Uh, okay, maybe I will do random. So I'll just have this choose for me. Okay, so we, okay, well, this is good stuff. So he's self-assured and he's a bookworm, which I understand because he was a genius. That's not super fun, but I mean, I don't know. That's that's, that's what the random picks. So I, I guess he, oh, I forgot I have all these other traits too. Bossy and sweet, which I'm pretty sure is Princess Belle. So we have like all of this other fun stuff that I haven't been able to use yet, but I definitely want to use this. Oh, well, I don't know what happened to my other traits, but I thought I had a ton more, but I don't see them on here. Um, but they will probably show up later. I love bossy. That's so fun. I, I can't wait to have a sim be bossy. That sounds like a lot of fun. So I guess Prince Louis ooh, is the heir to the throne. I think we're just going to keep him like this as a bookworm and self-assured. So yeah, I, I I know that's not a lot of fun, but I think we'll get some other fun traits from Prince Jack. Okay, so next we have Prince Jack blowing out the candles and he is hysterical right now. So hopefully it's not going to be like a dangerous hysteria where they die from being hysterical because that happens. So Prince Jack aged up. He was a goofball and he's outgoing. So he's definitely more like silly. He's gregarious. So he's got like just... I feel like a lot more personality than Prince Louis does. Like, I feel like Prince Louis is like books and like studying and like being smart and knowledge. And then I feel like Prince Jack is like, no, don't, I don't want to do any of that. Like, I just want to have fun. I want to be funny. So I think, isn't like mischievous one of the traits or something like that? Cause I think that would be a lot of fun for him too. Huh, I didn't realize I have proper on here twice. That's interesting. And I don't know if that's a glitch or what that is, but that's interesting. Okay, so I don't see like mischievous on here. I think that might've just been like a custom content trait I thought I had, but apparently I don't. Okay, maybe he is clumsy. I feel like that finishes up the like, those very silly kind of trait that that he has, so I'm just gonna make him clumsy. I feel like that's fine. I do wish I had like the mischievous thing. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Okay, but now we need to add the birthday candle so Princess Belle can age up into a young adult. I'm so excited. You know what I realized too, guys? Princess Belle's full name is actually Princess Isabel, which was her grandmother. So I do need to change that. I, I kind of wanna, let me, I wanna do that now. So rename and then change to Princess Isabel. Cause I was like, yeah, technically that's her full name, but I just had to do Princess Belle because it didn't fit in the whole thing. So Princess Isabel is actually her full name, but we can still call her Princess Belle. You guys can still call her Princess Belle too. That's totally fine. Oh my God, what happened? Someone took a bite of the cake when I wasn't looking. Oh shoot. All right, we got to make another birthday cake. Okay, so we have made another birthday cake. So now it's Princess Belle's turn to blow out the candles and age up into a young adult. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful too. 
Honestly, her look is so unique and she doesn't really look like Princess or yeah, Queen Cora to me. So I don't know where she got her looks from, but she's beautiful. Okay, so she also needs to have two traits picked out. Okay, so I thought she had sweet as a trait because that's 100% her, but it doesn't look like it's on here. So I'm making that one of her traits because she is just like, so she's good and she's sweet and she's also gregarious. So she loves people and she loves being like outgoing and she's just super caring. So she just got a lot going for her. Honestly, I'm trying to think of what else to put. I feel like, I feel like she would be a vegetarian or she would also be proper too. Mm, let's go ahead. Let's, I already have a Sim as proper. I have Princess Amira as proper. I don't do like vegetarian much. So I'm going to make Princess Isabella vegetarian. Okay. So I need to add these birthday candles before somebody else eats the birthday cake. So add birthday candles because, no, are you kidding me? Prince Michael. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I wanted to age up Lady Corinne. I am so sorry, Queen Cora. You have made so many birthday cakes. Let's do something a little different this time. All right, while she's baking the cake, I know I should keep an eye on it. I just love seeing the other Sims like kind of talking to each other, like Queen Nea talking to Lady Ezra, like just seeing all of them kind of getting along. They seem to be getting along pretty well. Also, someone did think that Queen Nea is a young adult. She's not. She's a teenager, so she still has a good amount of time before she ages up into a young adult and before she gets married. Oh, it looks like Princess Belle is talking to Prince Francisco right now oh they're super oh oh well we can't do any more romantic interactions because now princess Belle is a young adult so we're gonna have to wait until prince francisco becomes a young adult before we do any more inter uh, before we do any more romantic interactions okay so corinne is now oh wait no wait where are you going she like swerved she like went away and then now she needs to come back okay uh you need to age up into a young adult. Wait, whoa, whoa. Are you leaving? You can't leave. You have to age up. Oh my gosh, is this not gonna work? Okay. Okay, now it says Lady Corinne is sleeping. All right, you know what? We're just gonna have to age her up another time. That is totally fine. I'll probably take them out on a date because I really do think that Prince Louis might be a little bit like, not like rushed, but I feel like he would kind of want to propose to her pretty quickly. So maybe I'll have him do that a little bit later. Okay, so it's probably time for everybody to go home pretty soon. I do think that we have, like, we have, like, so many people here still. And then now Princess, or Queen Evangeline, she's no longer pregnant. So she, I don't, I don't think they're gonna try for another baby. I think they've had, like, way too many children at this point, or at least King Henry has. So I don't think, for now, I don't think we're gonna be having another baby anytime soon. But maybe, maybe later. So I think we're going to end, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! Wait! What? Wait! That's Princess May! Oh my god, you guys! No, no, no! 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 She's way too young! This is not okay! Oh my god, are you serious? Wait! Oh my god! Oh, 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 can I plead for her? No! No, I can't plead! Oh my god, you guys, this is like... This is so... Wait, are you serious? I'm done with people dying. I can. Are you kidding me? It's Princess May? No, she's like way too young. Oh my god, this is the youngest person we've ever had die. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Wait, I can't. Are you sure I can't plead for her? Oh, oh, I can. Demand Princess May be spared. I can do. Okay. I'm gonna do. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. I was so late. Ah! Are you serious? I'm d I can't right now. Are you kidding me? Shoot! Oh no! <laughs> Princess Bellatrix is crying! I'm crying! <laughs> Oh my god, guys. I don't know what to do. I was not expecting that. Oh my god, this is so sad. I'm just gonna watch all these sims crying as I cry on the inside. I definitely just scared my dog. Bubbles is like hiding under the desk because I was like screaming and crying. It's okay, I'm okay. Oh my god, okay. Well, that means that Princess Amira is going to need to marry Prince Johan. Oh my god, they were going to tell Amira's parents and Amira and, Pri and King uh, Jared that they were seeing each other behind like their backs and like now that now Princess May was gonna do that and she can't. She can't admit to it anymore. Are you serious? 
Oh my god, they were going to do that. All right, I have a lot to figure out before the next episode. Um, I don't want to listen to these Sims crying anymore because it's making me sad. So that happened. So yeah, we're gonna end this video here. I, if this was enough drama for you, I if you I don't know if I should say if you enjoyed this because I know this is going to be really really sad for a lot of people. But we're gonna have to figure all this out in the next episode. So I'll take that time to do that and I'll look at your comments before I film the next episode. But if you did enjoy this, then give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!